guys, welcome back to another Bear Games How To. My name is Maltu and today we're gonna be looking at Advanced Rocketry for the first time. It's a new mod, well it's not a new mod, but it's a new mod for us. We haven't really played it yet, but it looks really cool and we want to get into it. So we decided to learn it with you guys. So the first thing we're gonna learn is how to make a hollow projector and how to use it. So the hollow projector is a really good tool to be able to learn or see how to build all the different multi blocks in this mod and there are a lot of them so it's not that difficult to make you can make it with any old iron plate uh, the lip wolves is the one that comes with the mod if you're only playing with this mod otherwise any iron plate from any of these mods will work and this optical sensor which is also made from a golden plate which has the same uh, properties of the iron one you can use any of these mods so once you've built your hollow projector you can shift right click to open the interface for it then by pressing any button on your mouse you can drag this around and see all of those different machines which you have to do there's uh, a good bunch so let's just take uh, the crystallizer as an example once you press it it is programmed into your hollow projector and you can now, if you mouse over it, it shows you actually all the things that you need to build, which is really good because you don't really need to know how to assemble it before you have all the parts that you need. So once you ha have all this stuff, you can put down your block. Every multi-block in Advanced Rocketry has a machine control block which is called the same as the multi-block itself, in this case, the crystallizer. If you place it down, you can right click on it with the holo projector and it will align the multi-block according to how you placed the machine block. So here we can see all the different things that we need to build. If you hold shift and scroll while you have the holo projector in your hand, it will scroll up to the different layers of the multi-block in this case only the two and here you can see the finished product if you ever want to see what's behind the block you can simply break them to get better access because some of them are really really big now all you have to do is fill in the missing blocks and you will have yourself a nice multi-block if you just want to see how big the multi-block structure is you can also right click anywhere else. It doesn't have to be on a crystallizer or on a machine control block rather. Um, and it works just the same. That's it for this video. Uh, I hope it helped. If you have any more questions about the whole projector, feel free to leave them down below. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you want to see more of this mod, let us know. Um, it looks really promising and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!